Who are you? Good afternoon. Is this the Bold Voice newspaper? And are you Mr. Andy? Yes, it is. But I'm quite busy at the moment. Could you come back in an hour or so? Are you Natalie's daughter? Is your mum coming today about the story we discussed? No, sorry. I'm Maddie. My teacher, Miss Mason, sent me. I'm here to find out some information. Who sent you? Oh, Rothney. My niece is always so nosy. Is Miss Mason's first name Rothney? That's an unusual name. Oh, yes. It is Miss Mason to you. It's just another name. Long story. So you said you were looking for some information. You are in the right place. We are a newspaper, and here we have lots of information. About politics and the election, migration, environmental change, the impact of vaccinations. Are you looking for anything specific? Yes, you said environmental change, and I think that's what I may be looking for. It's something about the environment that's influenced the people of an island called Kayoni. Oh, Kayoni, here we go again. We published an article in Bold Voice last week. The island has experienced a terrible division. It's all about the wind turbines. So, what did the article say? Could I read it? Oh, I can tell you about it, as I wrote it with my team. Basically, the wind turbines are destroying the island completely. There is so much noise produced by the turbine blades. The island is dead. No tourist wants to go there anymore. The scenery looks bad, and there are many deaths of lemurs because they climb up the turbines and they fall. Seriously, that's so sad. Those wind turbines sound horrible. They're certainly not like fruit or chocolate, as Betty explained. What are you saying? Do you want some chocolate? I think that I have some in the drawer. By the way, have you read this article about the weight loss properties of chocolate? But I guess that's one more for your mum. No, I was just thinking of something. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. A girl I met called Betty was explaining to me about the wind turbines earlier. She said that things are not always only good or bad, that there are different ways to view them. It depends on the situation. For example, people think of fruits as a good thing, but if you eat too many, they can be bad for you. Or, if you have an allergy or something, you might not even be allowed to eat them. Maybe, but I don't get your point here. Well, Betty said that there are actually two sides to the story, and that wind turbines can be good. She said something about electricity that is clean as well. But I don't know what that means exactly. I need to read more about it. That's not true about wind turbines. It is very expensive to make them and they create a lot of trouble. They destroyed the coastline of Kaoni and their loud noise has made people to have migraines and serious health problems. What are migraines? Very bad headaches. That's what the turbines are. Bad headaches. You should write this in your presentation. There is a lot of scientific evidence that they cause health problems. You should not have them near your home. Some people say that they may even cause cancer. Oh, I didn't know that. Betty said that they were good things about them too. Oh, hold on. What did the librarian say? Um... She definitely said check the source. And... Who is writing, I think? Did you just say something? Uh, yes. I was wondering if you could tell me more about the scientific information behind this. Oh, what are you asking? You don't believe me? I don't have much time for this today. No, Mr. Andy, it's not that I don't believe you. 
but I'm trying to learn more about the source of this information. Okay, I'll tell you then. There are generally lots of studies and evidence. Like... Like... Like what? Well, for example, we interviewed the people on the island who hated the turbines. And who were they? Oh, just the hotel owners. They didn't like the wind turbines because they destroyed the landscape. It was bad for the hotel business. I'm sorry, Mr. Andy, but you mentioned scientific studies. Aren't these done by scientists? I haven't heard of a hotel owner doing a single science experiment. Well, okay, okay. But the turbines are still bad. You don't need much evidence. You just see them. They're tall, noisy, and they are ruining the sea view. Are they inside the sea? Yes, of course. They're a few miles out in the sea. So how can they be noisy? And how can the lemurs climb them and fall? Listen, you're asking too many questions for a girl of your age. I'm just trying to get out the facts, Mr. Andy. You know my school presentation is important to me. I want to give out good information with evidence. Well, then go to a library. Don't bother me. Sorry, but I'm too busy. I've already explained this to you. Please send my regards to Rothney. Okay, I understand. No problem, I will. Thank you for your time. Oh, hello Natalie. Good to hear from you. I was expecting you today. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, that's true. I'm now more confused than ever before. I need to find Miss Mason. She has some explaining to do.